All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a little while since we've had a review. Been kind of busy, but <clears throat> you gotta watch movies to be able to review them, right? Hadn't had the time. So, but knocked out some th today, this morning, and I wanna go over the first one with you. It's brand new. Um, come out, I don't know, maybe this past weekend or sometime or another in the past couple of weeks or so. Uh, it's called On the Line with Mel Gibson. It was a uh, straight-to-streaming, on-demand type situation. It's kind of been where he's been going lately with some of his uh, film choices. But, I gotta say, um, went going into this movie, I didn't have a lot of expectations with it being a you know straight-to-video streaming type B-movie situation. And also judging the fact that he hadn't really put out anything um, male-worthy, you know, Mel Gibson-worthy lately. He's kind of been phoning it in. But with that being said, I watched it this morning, and it was good. It was pretty good. It was uh, very reminiscent to the old male, um, Mel Gibson, that is. And uh, it was just, it was refreshing to see him kind of tiptoeing back into the waters of, uh, you know, maybe his past career, you know. I mean, he, he did a really good job in this movie, and which, I mean, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's just the stigma with his name, uh, the controversy of some of the things he's done over the past, but the man is probably one of the better actors, our greatest actors of our generation. I grew up watching his movies, uh, Big fan of the Lethal Weapon franchise. He's he's a good actor. He's got the chops. He's talented. That's what I'm saying. Um, I'm just kind of having a hard time figuring out why he's been making the, the the film choices that he has over the past couple of years. Um, they haven't all been bad. That being said, you know there were um, one or two that was actually really good. Blood Father being one of them. Um, was a really good movie. May try to review that a little later. Um, but anyway, this one really good. He plays a radio jockey, a uh, late night radio host who um, winds up having to deal with this psychopath uh, that comes online on the air with him and uh, threatening his family. The everything. It's just a really good suspense thriller, right? It keeps you engaged. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. And you know what I always say, if a movie keeps you engaged and keeps your attention, then it's done its job, whether it be uh, good or not, you know. Uh, but this one is pretty good. It's a good watch. It's got some language in it, though. It's rated R. So, that being said, it's not for the kiddos, okay? But yeah, it's a really good suspense thriller with, uh, you know, some comedy thrown in here and there. You know, it's Mel Gibson. He's got to get some some witty one-liners in every once in a while. But, uh, but yeah, here's hoping that, uh, you know, Mel Gibson kind of starts to move forward uh, back into the mainstream, maybe start making some some bigger movies, you know, because like I said, it, it's fun just to watch the man do do his craft, you know? I mean, he, he's a good he's a good actor. And so, yeah, he kind of gets to, to show that in this movie, you know? I mean, is it great? Is it up there with like, Lethal Weapon or Patriot or Braveheart or some of those really good ones. Probably not. It's not great. But here's the thing. It's not bad either. It's not terrible, okay? It's not like some of the ones he has been putting out. Um, it's not garbage, in other words. But, uh, but yeah, it's a decent little watch. Hour and 45, hour and 49 minutes, somewhere roughly around that, around that uh, time limit. But... Um, but yeah, it's streaming. You can, uh, it's not anywhere free yet because I, like I said, it's, it's fairly, it's brand new. So, uh, it's one of the rent and buy type situations. So you can get it from the big three, right? Apple, Voodoo, and Amazon. Um, like I said, pretty decent cast of, um, you know, supporting actors as well. It's got William Mosley in it who, uh, a lot of us remember us playing in Chronicles of Narnia movies. Well, he's grown up now, and so, um, but yeah, he played, I think, was it Peter in Chronicles of Narnia? I believe so. Anyway, he does a really good job in this movie. Um, Kevin Dillon, I think is his name. Uh, he was on Entourage, and he's been doing a lot of B-movie, uh, straight to, 
straight to streaming type situations as well. And he's in this for like a split second. But um, but yeah, you know, decent movie. Here's the good. Here's the fun part. There is some big twist at the end that I will I will admit I didn't see coming. Um, most of the time I can, you know, especially with twists and things. If you watch as many movies as I do, they kind of start to become a little uh, predictable, and you can kind of spot the tropes and things that they kind of do, and you can kind of start to see it. But this one caught me a little off guard. I'll admit, you know, I did not expect it, and it throws in you know one or two more twists along the way. So it's fun in that aspect as well. You know, I'm a sucker for a good twist movie at the end, right? Good twist ending, this one's got one. So, On the Line with Mel Gibson, it's rated R. Um, if you're a Mel Gibson fan, I think you'll like it, you know? I enjoyed it, you know? If you wanna kinda be a little nostalgic and, and see Mel kinda uh, get back to how he was, then this might be for you, okay? As always, as we say in the cave, this has been my opinion. And what opinions are like butts? Everybody's got one. Some of them stink. Have a great day, guys.